job. Boring. Mommy, please. <sighs> Daddy? Oh, God. No! Daddy! <laughs> Was anyone else with you besides Emily when you discovered your husband? No. I had taken my son down at his loft in Tribeca. He was out of the Hamptons for a bachelor party, and he hitched a ride home with us. Is there anybody that you know of who would want to hurt your husband? <laughs> Define hurt. So, yeah. Take your pick. Good old days. Let's see. No, no, not him. No. Oh, this one I recognize. He used to deliver pizza to us until then he just kind of uh, delivered. Do you think that there was a reason that the killer sodomized your husband with a banana? He was allergic to bananas. He, uh, he used to get all covered in hives. I'm, I, I've got to call my son Adam. So was it premeditated or a sex game gone wrong? And why are we so positive the wife is clean? She has an alibi, and I don't think Emily would lie to protect her. I'm positive, I, like, I hung out with this guy. We were good friends or something. This may explain the uh, widow's good mood. I spoke to one of Harlan's lawyers. She and the kids split all his assets, which currently stand at north of 100 million. Well, I suppose she could have been nervous about somebody getting added to the list, but I gotta tell you, I just wasn't getting that vibe from her. She wasn't hiding anything. And no crocodile tears. Jeffries, I want you to pull all of Harlan's records, bills, anything. You guys, talk to the son. See if he knows anything about the old man's dating habits, and let's try to reconstruct this family's affairs. I swear I know this guy. No, I remember. Maybe you know me from my commercials. My banana spot's still running. That's it, the banana spot. What's your real name? Bulldozer is my real stage name. Ah, the nom de mort. Don't I look the part? I'm gonna make it. Really important? No, not yet, but soon. Very soon. I just do these cheesy commercials for the money, but I was born to be in porn. And I'm still looking for a good porn talent agent. If you happen to know of anyone, you know, maybe somebody that you picked up or something. Yeah. So, uh, Mr. Dozer. Hey, Mr. Dozer, you were saying that you ended your relationship with Andrew. Why? Because he didn't pay for the last seven dinners. He gave me nothing. And all he wanted to do was have sex. And we were both atop, so that didn't really work out. Well, Andrew gave you some presents, though, didn't he? He lent me these to practice on. Is the wife going to need these back? Because I'll keep them if she doesn't. I kind of doubt she's going to even notice they're missing. Did you call your mother after she dropped you off? No, we spent three hours in the car on Sunday. It's enough for three years. Traffic sucks on Sunday. I was late for a friend's gig. Were you and your father close? Yeah, very close. Until he started doing my girlfriends. Then our relationship got a little sour. Let's talk about your joint girlfriends. Nothing to talk about. Once he touched them, I dumped him. Anybody recently? Becky. Becky, you have a last name? Sorensen, she's a painter. Adam's just young. He thinks small. And Daddy? Nothing small about Daddy. Andrew was something else. Kinky. Enthusiastic. He did things to your body that aren't even in the Kama Sutra. Wow. So what happened? Nothing. We just moved on. Andrew had a very short but intense attention span. How short? Two weeks. Any hard feelings? <laughs> I think you're thinking about this the wrong way. How so? Andrew wasn't into monogamy. Not even serial monogamy. Do you know any of these men? No. God, that's Charlie Poe. We chartered a boat a bunch of times. Andrew and Charlie. Yeah, he chartered the boat a couple of times. Look, we know you two had a sexual relationship. You see this? That's my family. I'm straight. Really? I, I, I don't, I'm not attracted to the male gender in any way. You see that? You and Andrew make a great couple. And we have a few others where you're wearing only your birthday suit. I, I never did anything. I, I swear, it wasn't me. If 
to tell my wife. We won't tell your wife unless it's absolutely necessary. You know what it costs to put a kid through school today? I mean, even nursery school? Yeah, so Andrew liked to sleep with me a few times. Well, that's it. I, I never did anything. He did. And in exchange, he, he helped me out with my kid's education. How often did you two fellas tie each other up? <sighs> you mean bondage? Yeah, bondage. Sometimes. Did he ever have you tie him up? Uh, no, he, he liked to keep me still. See, I'm, <laughs> I'm very ticklish. People say it's uh, tension, but I'm ticklish even when I'm relaxed, so I moved around a lot, and he didn't want me okay, to. Okay, and... terrific. Let me ask you a question. Do you know any of the other guys? What other guys? What are you talking about? I was the only one. The fingerprint was found in the study. It belongs to a Sonia Petrovich, Russian woman. She's off the boat three years ago. Green card. Occupation listed as Glyasheya Dievka. Every sailor knows that's Russian for hooker. Facial or waxing? No, I, uh... Is this your first time here? Detective Olivia Benson, this is Detective Stabler. We need to speak with Sonia Pietrovich. Sonia doesn't work here anymore, but... Go to room six. Natasha's there. They were friends. Thank you. But you're gonna have to go alone, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm with a client. Are you Natasha? Yes. We have a moment of your time? Sure. I'll be right back. So, Sonia Pietrovich was a friend of yours. Why, is she in trouble? Maybe. <laughs> her mafia boyfriend already screwed her over. And he would be? Yuri, he got her the singing job. Look, I thought she and I were friends. We lived together for a while. We mm -hmm. went to Brighton Beach for good food. Didn't she used to date the owner here? Victor? Mm -hmm. Everybody dates him. That's how you get a job. Do you know she had an American boyfriend, Andrew Harlan, married? Andrew... <sighs> Maybe she met a lot of men. That's why we're not friends anymore. Listen, we both went for an audition at nightclub, and we both sang. It's simple. I have talent, she doesn't. But she got the job because she started doing it with Yuri. He's connected, so he got Sonia the job. Daddy told me he loved being in love so much that he fell in love too easily. All that stuff he did, it was his cry for help, but mom could never reach out to him. Did your mom know about his affairs? Yeah, she didn't seem to mind as long as it was only with guys, but mm -hmm. once he fell in love with Katya, they fought all the time. Katya? Katya Ivanova, she's Russian. My father said she's very beautiful. Did your mom know about Katya? Absolutely. She used to call her his Russian whore. Daddy said that if anything ever happened to him, he kept all of his personal stuff in the secret drawer in his desk, and he told me where he had the keys. So after he died, I waited until I was sure Mom had gone to get her hair done, and I got all of his stuff. There wasn't much there, but I did find one thing. What's that? It's some kind of legal mumbo-jumbo I can't really understand, but it looks like Daddy was suing Katya for a lot of money. And I was wondering if... You thought maybe that's why he died? Do you know how much your father was suing Katya for? He's suing her for $2 million? Now, see, that's what I call a motive. According to the complaint, that's the value of the gift she kept. Andrew Harlan and Katya had a five-month affair. He broke it off when he found her cheating on him in the apartment he was paying for. I guess Andrew wasn't quite as understanding as his wife. Here's the hinky part. The morning after Andrew's killed, lawsuits dropped by his wife. After he was dead? Yeah. It sounds like they were working together. Well, I would say that uh, little Katya is now our prime suspect. Do we know where she is? Daughter didn't know, but she said she thought her mother might. She used to hear them arguing all the time about her father paying for Katya's apartment. Give my regards to the widow. Yeah.